Climate change is a phenomenon that is going to affect our marine ecosystems, especially the coral reefs, uh, the fisheries and uh, people's livelihoods. As a manager, it is not possible to stop uh, the impacts of climate change. Uh, but we can uh, work to reduce uh, the stresses uh, which, to coral reefs, which include overfishing, uh, pollution, and uh, overexploitation, so that we give the coral reefs a chance uh, to survive. It is practically impossible for coral reef managers to stop climate change and bleaching events. However, it is possible for managers to identify sites that are likely to be resistant or resilient to bleaching and to control other stresses caused by people. Managers should have an intimate knowledge of their coral reef and monitoring programs should be able to identify potentially resistant and resilient sites. Monitoring can also warn a manager when bleaching is occurring and can show which sites do and do not recover. The IUCN Climate Change and Coral Reefs Group, in collaboration with the Nature Conservancy, has developed a method of monitoring coral reefs that determines the resistance and resilience potential of sites and quantifies factors affecting resilience. Managers can assess which factors are more reliable for their reef. Shading by cliffs is more reliable and useful than shading by clouds, even though both can stop bleaching. Bleaching events can be predicted by satellite monitoring of sea temperatures, and there are various websites that managers can access to know when bleaching could occur. Protecting resilient areas conserves biodiversity and protects sources of larvae for regeneration of surrounding degraded sites. Good monitoring programs can identify larval source reefs and degraded reefs should be managed to favour conditions for larval settlement. To boost resilience, managers should identify the other threats that they can control. These include destructive and overfishing, anchor damage, unregulated coastal development, damage by irresponsible tourism, invasive species, and land-based sedimentation, nutrients, and pollution. If these threats can be controlled, then coral reefs have a better chance of surviving climate change.